Thank you, Jan. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what is keeping your musical curiosity so alive? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know where this drive comes from, but uh, I have a, a kind of a mentality that uh, pops up uh, ideas all the time. And uh, I have to do something with them. And uh, this leads me into different projects and different meetings with uh, other people. And this again gives more ideas and then, you know, it's like a <laughs> constant flow, you know. Uh, which one of the many others project, Magnetic Nor, Yokleba, uh, Batagraph, uh, are you following now, these days, or possibly new ones? There is a, both uh, following the, especially the Batagraph project, is, is also a, always in development and uh, there are different versions of Batagraph. Now we will, this year we will work with the two uh, stand-up comedians who work with kind of a abstract media humor, mm -hmm. anyway. But uh, they do it in a kind of a rhythmic way that w works really well with the, with the Batagraph. Uh, so it's a, it's a good project, but it's in Norwegian, so it will only happen in Norway, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe one day with Italian <laughs> stand-up comedians. But then I'm, uh, I'm doing a lot of solo work, which uh, is uh, both playing solo acoustic piano and using some electronics very uh, softly and very subtle. But I also started a, a duo project with uh, Bjart uh, Eke, the, the violinist from C1, where we explore um, Renaissance music and electronics, actually. Mm -hmm. So we it's based on solo violin and I play some cembalo and piano, but uh, we work with uh, putting a uh, kind of a surround uh, sound system and then sending the sounds and remixing these uh, pieces from the early music. As you told us, also alone at last, how did you decide to build your recent piano solo project, including also field recordings and sound environments? And since the start of uh, digital sound uh, equipment, since I've been really fascinated by the creation of acoustic spaces in a way. Mm -hmm. So like architecture of uh, sound and to use sound as a, as a way to expand the room or diminish it or uh, turn it upside down. Uh, so I've been experimenting a lot with the, with the, doing that, but then keeping the acoustic piano as a center because of this beautiful sound and uh, and that. But then using electronics to to almost work uh, architecturally with the, with the sound around it. Your music uh, has often a very spatial and visual aspect to consider. How much is how, how is your relation with visual arts? It's very close. <laughs> I'm a, my wife is, a, is an artist, visual artist. She works with the video and sculpture and uh, installations and scenography. And, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm uh, very close to the art scene uh, in, in that aspect. And we try to, when we travel together, we try to uh, see as much as possible of uh, exhibitions or uh, stage performances or uh, things like that so um, so it's a uh, it's a big part of uh, my uh, development okay. also working with the uh, dance performances we just did now um, me and, and Bjart Eike again the violinist we did a production for the opera in, in Norway which was a ballet uh, production but contemporary well, we also worked with the sound system in this huge uh, hall there. It was fantastic <laughs> experience. Uh, which kind of advice a musician with an uncommon education, like you, could give to younger musician? It's always uh, difficult to, to give uh, 
a, a universal answer to that question because uh, people are so different. And some people might not need a formal education at all. Some people are really uh, successful with uh, with taking out what they need from uh, from that. So, I mean, music is not a, a trade that you can learn and then stay doing what you have learned. You have to be constantly searching for new uh, challenges and new uh, new ways, openings to uh, other places where you can find uh, new things and so it's it's as simple as follow your own ideas and uh, heart especially that if you don't feel that this is uh, a good place to be even if it's a lot of money in it or no. success or plows or everything then you should go somewhere else <laughs> <laughs> thank you Jan thank you very much thank you.